just filled his boots right up to the top. With cream. <laughs> With cream. <laughs> With cream. Yeah. So as he comes off, we're all side stage watching him do this quick change and he's getting his costume on, he puts his boots on it, so all this cream just went on. I tell you no, but they're gonna but do you know how many times I got fired? Yeah. No. 88 times. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> and when I say fire, I don't mean like, oh, we can't work with you anymore. Like, like, guy tell me, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> that kind of fire. So it took me time to like handle that rejection and get used and be emotionless. Like, the faster you fire me, I'm happy. I'm going <laughs> to find somewhere else, man. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. No, yeah. I, I got fired as well from my, uh, when I first left school. You got fired? I got fired, yeah. Oh, tell yeah. me about it. We fitted these windows and where the windows came out, obviously the render had come off, so we put new render on it and we had to pebble dash them. So I was pebble dashing them. And there was a, a guy, a glazer, who had said something to me earlier on. So in my mind, I'm thinking, because this is me being really stubborn and, you know, standing up for myself. He came back and I was thinking, if he comes back and says anything, I'm just going to tell him. You know. So he comes back and he goes, he looked at my pebble dash that I'd done and he went, is that... Is that it? Is that, is that, is that it? And I, I just went, look. I said, that's the best I can do. Okay, so <laughs> like it or lump it. So he goes back and speaks to the bosses. So the next day I go to work and I get called into the office and they say, uh, we're going to have to finish you up. How charming. And I said, why? And he goes, well, we don't like your attitude. We've heard that you, your attitude is a bit. And I said, oh, come on. I said, because of what he said. I said, I was doing my best. And he came back and criticised me. Um, he said, well, we're going to let you go. I said, OK, fair enough. So I took them to a small claims course and I won. <laughs> so I got, I, I got all my money back. <laughs> yeah, there we I go. Thought, don't mess with Now Carl. we're talking business. Yeah, don't mess with Carl. <laughs> Just to conclude the interview, I wanted to tell me some of your fun memories you had from sets, actors, producers, anything. Just tell me okay. anything dodgy happened or tell me a fun fact. <laughs> This, this, uh, there we go. We're going for the entertainment, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <Yeah>, strike. <laughs> that was, um, I was doing panto when I was at uh, theatre school. And um, obviously at theatre school, I was, you know, I was, I was a dancer as well. So we, uh, we, we dressed in, in many costumes. But in this particular panto, I can't remember the name of the panto, but um, in this particular one, we were dressed as soldiers. So we have these like red uniforms with high collars um, and a very tall hat with a peak on. Right. So right at the, the front of the stage, and we're doing tap. We're doing a tap dance. So tapping away. That's right. And I, I was holding a rifle at the time. So I'm holding a rifle and tap dancing. And there's the other guys next to me dancing as well, doing in a line tap dancing. So I'm tapping, and then suddenly the audience start laughing, and I'm thinking, why are they laughing? But we carry on dancing, you know, thinking, why are they laughing? It's not funny. And then all of a sudden, I felt my hat sort of go forward, like right. almost over my eye. So I thought, who's who's done that? You know. So I'm, I'm carry on dancing, and I, I turn around. And the whole sort of uh, set, which was a castle wall, had fallen and it had fallen on my head. Oh, wow. So it was resting on my head and the audience were killing themselves laughing. So shout out to the creep department for that. <laughs> yeah. What a great job. You just killed a bunch of actors. Well, it didn't fall as a true professional. What I did do is I turned around, I held the wall up and carried on dancing while, while I held wow. the wall up until the, the dance finished and then we went off. But by then we realised what happened. So we were yeah. laughing at the same time. So, yeah, that, that was quite a, <laughs> a remarkable thing, which I remember for the rest of my yeah, life. That's one set you're never ever going to go on, especially if there's explosions involved. <laughs> you won't survive it. <laughs> uh, no. Without mentioning the names, there's uh, one of the gladiators... Uh, 
and he actually lives on the world. All right, <laughs> so he's local. No, we're gonna have him here soon. <laughs> yeah, so he probably doesn't know this story, but he, I, I knew that he had this quick change. He had to come off stage, quickly get changed into a new costume. So these are the type of gags that I used to pull on, on actors and um, <clears throat> he had his boots waiting side stage so I got some cream you know that squeezy cream and just filled his boots right up to the top with cream <laughs> with cream <laughs> with cream yeah so as he comes off we're all side stage watching him do this quick change and he's getting his costume on he puts his boots on it all this cream just went Ooh. shot everywhere well he had to walk on stage with all this cream spurting Splash out down. yeah yeah so uh I don't think he, he knows it was me that did it. Well, actually, he knows because he's going <laughs> to watch it. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's your revenge time, mate. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but no, I've, you know, I've, I've, we've sort of crossed paths since then. Um, he's, a, he's a nice guy. Um, so hopefully he won't uh, come and... You wish he stays nice. <laughs> Carl, I would like to ask you about uh, some of the projects that you've actually finished uh, because obviously we can't talk about the current ones. Let's, let's discuss the one you you've managed to finish. I know there's been uh, plenty of them, actually. I've finished filming on um, a film called Spring Lakes, which okay. it's now in post-production. Uh, so that's, you know, that's sort of in the editing suite being put together at the moment. Um, and also, the, the same week, I was actually over in Amsterdam. Um, now, Unfortunately, I can't say too much about the one in Amsterdam because I, I've signed a, a non-disclosure. Right. But um, that was an actual video game that I was working on, and it's a new it's a new concept uh, of video games. So it's breaking new ground. So I'm I'm really excited about being involved in that one. Um, there is uh, another film from the same director and and writer. Uh, no, sorry, not writer, but director. Um, mm -hmm of uh, Spring Lakes, which is called Dig Me No Grave. And again, that's in post-production, but it's, it's almost ready to be released. And one of the things I think you've done uh, was The Enemy of the Heart. Is that right? That yes. is a recent... Can you, um, uh, because we did have a guest, a child actor. Okay. His name is Jack. Yeah, I know Jack. Yeah. Uh, he wasn't... He was, he's also... He was, he was here couple of days ago and then he was talking about that as well but he couldn't really talk much about it but yeah, yeah. but but it was interesting because when I was said, oh you were both in the same project without me knowing that's interesting for me so yeah yeah, yeah. Um, see how fast I get things out absolutely yeah yeah well again you know that that uh, my particular uh, role in that was playing because I'm not sure how much I can say, but... It, not it, much, it, probably. It, yeah, it was, it was playing sort of a government official. Guys, if, if, if this gets published, we definitely leave the link in the description with the name as well. So you can go and watch. If not, then we'll have to wait for the producer, directors, the, the, the gatekeepers to release the film. Then we can actually um, yes. promote on it. Other than that, like we got no access to the... Uh... And of last year, I, I actually went over to Italy as mm -hmm. well. I was working with a director called John Reel, who I've worked with before. Um, and he's working on a medieval film called The Last Redemption, um, which in that I was, uh, yeah, I was playing um, a bandit, a nasty character. Called Can't wait to see it. Nisral, yeah. Can't wait to see that it. Was a, it was a great role to play. Absolutely great role. As soon as we find the dates, guys, we will definitely inform you. Also, make sure you check his... Uh, Social accounts, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, all going to be in the description as well. So as soon as we get the dates, we will leave an announcement on his social media account as well to for you guys to watch and give us our feedback about it. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe our channel. Um, if you guys have any questions for Carl, if you're going to have future conversations again, he will definitely be back. So we will keep all these questions and we will go through them one by one. Even if it's related to something you talked before and you want any expansion, that's absolutely fine. We will go through all the questions. 